Hello guys, good morning. Oh, my hair got a little static there. Eh? Good morning. Today is Saturday, October 29th. And Grandma is gonna cook some apple delight. Yes, you believe that early in the morning? I I woke up early. It's only 9.30, a little bit, almost 9.30. So, uh, what? well, I got up and then it's so cloudy out there, it's overcast. So I thought I'm gonna bake some some kind of stuff today because to warm up the house. Yeah, when you bake something it's it gets warm up a little bit in the house. So let's do it guys. So I have apples in there. That's about fourteen apples there. I counted early on. Yeah, guys, uh, let me see, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, it's 14 apples. They're kind of small. And I like my, uh, I like my apple, they lot, lots of apples on the, in there. So I'm gonna peel them and let's do it. All right, guys, let's go start peeling all these apples. Yeah, I like my, when I make some uh, some kind of apple pie, I like to have a lot of fruits in there. It could be apple pie or blueberry pie or cherry pie or whatever. I put extra fruits in there. Because a lot of time when you cook some kind of fruits, the uh, will go down a lot. I mean, you shrink a lot, you know. I like my uh, my delight. Let me see. Here. Yeah, I like to have my uh, a mountain of fruit on my apple delight. There, it was really easy, guys. So all you got to do is just peel all these apples, slice them up, and you can see the rest after this. Peeling apples is take time, especially if you peel a lot. But it's going to be good though. What do you think, guys? I love baking apples. I like apple pie, apple delight, which that's what I'm going to make today. La, 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 la. You know, guys, I cannot sing, but I try. So uh, this one right here, this peeling right here on my apples, I'm going to bury them in my garden to make my garden. I don't put this just throw on top of the garden because it looks uh, trashy that way. So what I do, I bury them in my garden and that would be, my garden will be rich, rich, rich soil. Yeah, it's good for your plants. It's like if I have some kind of potatoes, when I peel potatoes, I bury the potato peeling up there. Or sometimes if I have like eggshell also is good for your, for the soil. But... A lot of time, I just throw my eggshell in my trash can because I don't like to be out there and dig in holes. Dig in holes for, so I can bury those eggshell or whatever. But actually, guys, it's really good for the soil. All right, guys. This is my last apple here. 
PO. That's it, guys. So I'm done peeling all the apples. Did I say potatoes? I'm done peeling all the apples. Now I'm going to slice them up. Wash my hands here. Okay. So I got a pan here that I'm going to smear a lot of butter in there, right there. So the so the apple won't, the apples won't stick in there. Even though it's, it's a non-stick pan, I still want to put butter in there. So it's really easy to clean, you know. Yeah, you just. I use the hard butter in there. That way I can just uh, smear it in there and it'll stay there. Very easy guy and it's nice and it's really a good dessert. So that's done. Now I gotta wash my hands. I'm just going to cut this up, cut in half, to get all the core out. Yeah, the apple core, you know. Let's just cut in half and then I'll slice them up later on. See, I'm making like a assembly line here. Make it faster. Yeah, I like to do it fast. Guys, let's get the core out. Some people they have those apple core was a core out. You have like a little gadget to get the core out. Yeah, I just go ahead and cut in half and get that core by the knife it's a lot faster that way you know me i like it fast yeah guys look at all those apples so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna slice them up and then just put it right there in the pan with the butter all over it you guys so that's my non-stick pan. That's about that 13 by 9 size. And that's a lot of apples there. Yeah, guys. I just slice them up and throw in the pan there. And this is good, guys really good so when i get up in that first layer there i'm going to sprinkle it with cinnamon you guys it's fast in it you know uh cinnamon and uh in apple they always go together when you cook apples with cinnamon oh makes the house smells good about time about this time of the year that people start baking because it's cooling down and you know when it cools down you got a good appetite for sweets so guys i got the layer of apples in there in my pan so i'm gonna Sprinkle it, sprinkle them with cinnamon. Ground cinnamon, guys. Sprinkle a little bit in there. Okay, that's my first layer. Then go to the second layer. 
All right, guys, I'm doing the second layer of the apples here for my apple delight. That'll be the same process. So after this one here, I, I got two layers here. You just sprinkle it with cinnamon. Sprinkle them with cinnamon. Then after that, you sprinkle it with uh, yellow kick mix on top of it. In top of the yellow kick mix. I'll show you here in a minute, guys. Very easy and it's very good dessert. All right, guys, I got my second layers of apple in there. Yeah, it's a lot of apples in there. Now you just sprinkle the cinnamon in there. So that's the second layers of apples, sliced apples in there. It's a lot of apples in it. Yeah, when it comes to fruit, I like to have a lot of apples. I like to have a lot of fruits, guys. So I can sprinkle the cinnamon there. All right, that's it, guys. So let's go get the cake mix. All right, guys, I got the cake, cake, mix, cake mix in here. I'm going to sprinkle on top of this apple. See how simple that's, guys? Very, very good. And you don't need to put sugar on your apples because this cake mix already have a lot of sugar. And the apples are already sweet. This is about four cups, four cups of uh, cake, mix, cake mix. My husband just loves this thing. I like the idea of him eating a the cake and still have fruits in there. For some people, they probably put sugar on their apples or not me. The apples are already sweet and the cake mix. So that's what it looks like, guys. Put the cake mix on top of the apples. Now I'm going to put some butter on top of that. So I'm just gonna kind of slice up a, some butter here, about a stick, a stick and a half of butter, and you just put this on top of this uh, thing here. You just okay about this one, this right here, guys. This is the butter. You just put this all over the top of the pan. I'll show you here in a minute. Just like that, guys. That's very simple and easy. When I cook, I wash my hands a lot. So let's go wash my hands. Alright guys, well, I gotta turn this oven to three, I put it 340 because 350 is a little bit, my oven I think it's a little bit hotter than normal. Yeah, guys, that's what it looks like before you uh, put the, put it in the oven. So that's ready to go in the oven. Here it comes. Go in the oven here for 340 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40, 45 minutes because it takes time to cook in there because that, it's a lot of apples. 
So now it's time to clean up my mess. Yeah, this this waste right here is gonna go go in the garden. I'm not going to bury bury them. Just apple peelings and cores. Now I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. My kitchen. I like to clean up right away after I do work. So your kitchen always clean. Yeah. I'm very uh, particular about cleaning right away in my kitchen. So that way you never have any dirty dishes or always clean countertops, you know. I mean, it doesn't take that long at all. I know a lot of people, be just kind of, see, it's clean now, guys. That's all there is. Now, what we got to do now, guys, we're just going to wait for the apples to uh, finish baking. I call it apple delight. My husband call it apple delight, too, so that's what we call it. Guys, very easy to make, and it's very, very delicious. If you like apples. I like that better than the apple pie. Yeah. All right, guys, the apple delight is done baking. Guys, when I was baking it, it smelled so freaking good. Yeah, guys, now I'm ready to, I cannot wait. I'm going to take a slice here, and I'll let you know how it tastes, guys. This is the best. Very easy to make. And it's so delicious. You can have it with your uh, vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream. Yum. Yeah, guys. See, I put a lot of apples in there. See what I see? It shrunk down a lot. All right, guys. Let's go uh, get a knife and cut, cut a piece here and let you know. Or you can come over and have some with me. It's a big, this is a big uh, pan of uh, dessert here. Okay, guys, let's go cut a piece here. It smells so good, guys. I tell you what, guys, when you bake apples, and with cinnamon, oh, it's super. The aroma is so beautiful. Oh, man. That's the way it goes right there, guys. Oh, so good, guys. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Yeah, guys, the aroma on this thing is so delicious. Right there, guys, and that's my piece right there. You know I'm going to get another piece. That's how I like that thing there. Guys, if you have whipped cream also, it's good with on top of it. A whipping cream, which one is a whipped cream? Yeah, you just put on top of it or ice cream. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. That's really good, guys. Me, I just want it plain. My husband, he would probably put a cream in there or ice cream all right guys uh, let's go uh, take a bite here guys it does look delicious
Yeah, you can even have that with the, like a chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies. But ice cream with that, right now it's a little bit warm. Oh man, that would be good with the ice cream. So I better quit talking and start and let you know here, guys. Man. I'm glad I uh, baked it today. I like to bake it early in the morning. So it'll make the house all day long smells like sweet. All right, guys. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, man. This is heaven. This is, I like this a lot better than the apple pie. This is my favorite. Here's Dale. Dale, do we still have a whipped cream? Whipping cream? What's that? Try this. Oh, man. Jealous. Mm. It needs nothing. <laughs> Eat it like it is. Oh, I thought you always liked yours with ice cream. Oh, ice cream. I thought you said whipping cream. Oh, is that whipping cream or whipped cream? Which one is it? Ice that? cream. The, the white thing you put on the jello or something. I don't want that. Ice cream would be better. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream to be exact. But just the eating just the way it is for me. That's fantastic the way it is, yes. Mmm, man, God. The aroma, oh freaking good. Oh my goodness. Too good guys. Very easy to make. You can put up many apples as you want in there. This is like a 14, that was just like a medium sized apples. I would probably, if I have more apples, I would probably add another five apples. But it's good the way it is for 14 apple, medium size. If you want, you can make it 20. But anyway, guys, thank you much. And please take care of yourself and each other. And guys, so precious. <laughs> Give it a try. Thank you guys and bye for now. From my kitchen to yours.